Welcome everyone, Find Your Fire Tribe and any visitors who join us here today for this really exciting Find Your Fire Friday afternoon with Donna LaRoche, expert jewelry maker. I am Wendy Yorchi, Hi. founder of the Healing Spaces Caribbean and tribe mom of the Find Your Fire Tribe. And as you know, every Friday we try to bring an exciting, interesting, fascinating chi lifting event for our membership. Today we have the amazing Donna LaRoche. I call her Donna Angel Eyes because that's her name on, on, on social media and, and rightfully so as well. And she is going to share with us her passion, her skills, her wonderful talent in creating wearable, beautiful jewelry, wearable art, she calls it. She lives here in Tobago. And she's going to tell you a little bit more about herself because, of course, that's the best way to do it. For those of you who are watching us live on Facebook, I'm going to ask you to remember to type hashtag live so we know you're there. And of course, I will keep an eye on the chat to see if there's any questions for Donna if you're watching live on Facebook. So please feel free to comment. And those of you who are watching the replay later on, type hashtag replay. So again, we know you're there and ask any questions you have because Donna will respond. She will get back to you after the session. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Donna LaRoche. Donna, thank you so much for being here. Welcome. And I'm going to make you the star. Well, thank you. We are all stars in my book. So good afternoon and welcome each and every one of us. And first of all, I would like to say that I'm hearing, I, I'm not a creative person. No, we are all creative. It's just on tap. I'm going to show you how simple this is with and without tools. Everybody can do this, right? And let me tell you a little bit about myself first. I am Donna LaRoche, and I call myself a jewelry artist because I love to create rather than copy and everything else. I use natural stone. This is a blue sea glass that everyone loves, frosted sea glass and white sea glass. Everybody goes to the beaches and see attracted are attracted to these things. They bring them home and nothing is done with them. So I'm going to show you today how we can actually use these to make a necklace, wearable art, right? And this method that I'm going to be showing you, you can use this method with anything. If you found if you find a piece of driftwood. If you have a, a lot of people like to collect crystals, collect your crystals, you can wrap. Um, my whole, the whole technique here is wrapping, right? So I hope somebody has joined us today. If not, please, please, please try this. So it will be all with it. Okay, so um, I am going to start with, I know I requested a 20 gauge wire. So this is probably about 24 inches long and wrong nose slide, which is a simple thing like this. And it's called a wrong nose slide because it's wrong. Right? Everybody know, should know these things. But in the event that you don't have a wrong nose slide, if you have a pencil or anything that's small like this, you can use this as well. Anything that's wrong. Now, when you're making a pendant, when you're wrapping a pendant, the part at the top is called a bail. The wrong part at the top. That's where the chain goes into, right? Now, this can be made any size you want. This one, if you notice, this one around my neck, this is about, let me take it off. This is about an inch in diameter, okay? This one is smaller. And when we buy the gold chains and all that, it is a little smaller, but it, it all depends on your preference, right? Kind of looks like a style so, when you have it big like that, Donna. Exactly. So this is where the creativity comes in. You can make it however you want. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna try and stay as simple as possible. So let's say you don't have pliers, for example, and you wanna use uh, 
crochet needle or a nail. This is as big as a nail. So we would start, I like to start from the end and we're gonna make a circle, bend it around. Right, and then we're gonna cross it and we're gonna tie this into a knot. So you have the big end and the small end. And let me know if I'm going too fast. Can we see properly? Yes, we can see properly. Okay, so we cross that and I'm just going to turn, just turn that to tie it in. Now this is where a pliers would be helpful. So there you have your bail, but you have a wire that's sticking out. There's your bail. So you have your pliers and you would just secure that loose piece of wire. Just bend it in. So you have your bail. It looks like an eye pin. It's actually called an eye pin, right? So you're gonna... We hear Wendy. Okay, so these are sea glass. If you're gonna use it against your skin, you have to first clean it, which is easy. You just soak it in some uh, diluted bleach and a little soap water and you let it sit there for a while and you, you get all the bacteria and everything out of it. When you're done, it looks frosty like this. Some people like it like this. Or what you can do, you take a little bit of any oil that's good for the skin. You put it on there. You don't want to put too much. You can use fragrance oils as well. Baby oil is good. And you reveal the true color of it. Okay, this would sound nice because this is a fragrance oil. And what, okay, what, so what is that? This what is, is that? Sea glass. Ah, sea glass, yes. Yes, we all find them on the beaches. So we have our eye pin, oversized eye pin with the bail. So we're gonna line it up at the back, the center. We're gonna take our wire and now we're gonna wrap to secure the sea glass. So I'm bringing it up first and I'm going to tie it to the center like this. Just bring it around and tie it. You know how that looks? Okay. And now I'm going to bring it down and I'm just going to continue winding it around, winding it around. Then taking it back up. Basically, all I'm trying to do is to secure this. Now I'll tell you something. Everybody has their own way of wrapping. So you might try it, Lynn, and it might come out completely different. As long as this is secured in there, you're good to go, right? So I'm pressing the wire in a little bit, just because all we want to do is just to secure this. You see how beautiful it looks already? Right. And then you can take this if you want. You can make a little full. I don't like that. So I just cut it off and go again. So this is why, if you have a nail clip, a, a, a extra, you know, the, if you have some really big nail clip, you can use that if you don't have one of these pliers. And of course, you would need something to secure the ends again, because you don't want to be wearing something and it's then wires are pricking you all over the place. So there you go. Right? Now, you can use a lace, push a lace in there, or I'll show you how to make a neck piece. This is, it's a nylon twine that they use, I guess, to make stain, but you can get it at um, the same shop. I know it's somewhere down Lambo, 
You can also get stainless steel down there as well. That's the best way to get stainless steel. So what I usually do, I would just average around my neck, how long or short I want it. Fold it in half. Am I going too fast? No. So this is I, about eight. Not fast. This is, okay. This is about 18 inches in length. So I'm I'm gonna plait this. So in order to plait, you need three strands, right? So there you go. I have my three strands. I guess I should be wearing something white today. <laughs> I know the contrast with the um so you can use the scissors to cut this or the nipples. So there you go. Three pieces. How am I gonna plait it? And it has two circles. Two circles. One end I'm gonna tie because this end is going to be the loop that goes over the bump to secure it at the back. So there you go, I have my loop. There's a little piece here because it's three strands. So I'm just gonna cut that off and join it. There's still a knot down here. So I'm gonna cut that so I can plait it. Okay, so we have three strands we're gonna plait. Now, usually I would just get like a, a nail or something and flat it, right? But I'm going to show you a trick. Put it in I your teeth. I you to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm flat. Now, if you want to slip, you know those little seed beads? If you want to slip seed beads in here, you can. You can get creative. So you finish flapping this. I guess this, this is the part where we um, do the TV thing and we just come back on, right? <laughs> okay, so we finished flapping it. So now that we have the loop up here, we need the knot to secure it, All right? So we just take this end and we make knots. Should I slip in? Let me slip this in first. So we slip in our pendant. Hey, look at this. Wow. We have the tree strands, and the tree strands look good as well. So, are you seeing that? Yes. The tree strands look good. Look good. Yeah. So, you see, we discovered this together. <laughs> so now basically what we need to do is to, we have this part, which is the hole, this part, which is the nut. You make a knot on this end. If you have beads, you can just put a bead in here. So you can just push it in, in the nut and that's it. You have a chain. You just spent a hundred dollars on this. Right? That's one. I'm going to do it again. I wish you guys were doing this with me. You would have been froze by the end of this. Madonna? Donna? Yes. I want to show yes. off. I, I'm not doing it with you, but I want to show that I'm wearing you. Okay? So folks, <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Let me show you. This is my <laughs> Donna LaRoche wearable art. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And hold on. Let's show off some more. Oh, stunning. Oh. stunning. Really, really. <laughs> so, and Donna, I would like you to hey. show them more of your stuff, okay? If you can. But I oh, love them. Yeah. And those of you who actually uh, follow most, you know, many of my, my presentations or events will notice that this is one of my favorite pieces of jewelry when I'm doing <laughs> um, online events and, and teaching. It gives me, a, a, it, it helps my energy. I love it. So yeah, the color, you. color. Yes, exactly. So that being said, let's shift the let's shift a little bit here. Um, 
most times when you go and you're attracted to crystals, I call them crystals, crystals, jaspers, whatever. Don't take them home. Keep them with you. You're attracted to them for a reason. Yeah. It helps balance your energy. As, as Wendy just said there, you know, anything that you're drawn to, see, follow it. Keep it with you. And you might be going on a job interview or something and you, know, you just need that little, keep your, you know, whatever it is. Keep your crystals with you, your glass, whatever. Right, there are properties in these things. Anything that comes from Mother's Earth has properties, healing properties and everything else. Oh, let me show you some pieces. This one, this was found at the, on the shorelines lines of Tobago. See how it looks, black and white, it looks like a Dalmatian, mm -hmm. right? But these little stones, they have so much, they have properties. Whenever, I'm going to confess something. Whenever I'm going through my material, because for the most part, I only use sea materials, found objects. I feel the energy out of them. You, you hold them and you put them in your hands and you just squeeze and you close your eyes for a couple of seconds and you remove your whole you're rejuvenated after a while. So use your crystals. If you can't wear them, use them. Squeeze them in your hands, whatever it is, right? Well, you have given me some good inspiration. Yeah, no, I'm serious. Use them. They're all over. Once you're drawn to them, this one is wrapped, wrapped in copper. And you don't even have to go out there and buy expensive wires. You strip wires, the electrical wires down, and you can use use them. Stainless steel fishermen use them to fish. Use them. And Donna, like I am, was asking earlier on, where do you get wires? I mean, you Donna, know, I am I am big into recycling. It's, it's good to know that you can use those household wires. Yes, exactly. Like we changed washing machines yesterday, and I asked hubby this morning. I'm like. Did you save the plug? And he's like, save the plug for what? I'm like, they can make an extension. You know? Just put... Man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back to work. <laughs> so you see, I'm coming back to this piece. This is a white sea glass. It has a hoop. It has the, 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 the small bale, but it also has a hoop. So you can get creative, ladies, get creative. Usually I don't give out my secrets, but here I am today. This is the knot that I'm talking about. Right. So you just nut, 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 and you have your loop, your loop. So it goes over there and that's it. There you go, right? And this is flat, three strands. Right, so hold on, let me show them. <laughs> let me show them the knots. Hold on, here's the knots. It works, yeah. So, Donna, exactly. so my yes. question so, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I have I have this um standing lamp that I absolutely refuse to get rid of because I go like I can take the lamp shade, I can turn it upside down, I can create something like a little bed for my cats and make pad it and stuff. And I'm looking at the wires all the time and saying, I'm not I'm not gonna go fix it, but I know I know I can strip the wire down and use it for this. And while before I said I'm not really the artsy person, I used to collect those, you know, the white and the stones on some of those beaches, the nice ones with the patterns and the big flat stones. I used to collect yeah. them, a whole jar, and I'd go like, I need to learn how to make jewelry, because there you go. There you go. You have inspired well, me. <laughs> Hold on, Donna, Donna you don't know with this Christine Francois person, when you inspire her, she takes <laughs> new levels, new heights, okay? I did a, I did a workshop uh -huh. on Feng Shui Christmas decor before Christmas, and Christine took it and created the most amazing um, Christmas wreath that you've ever seen because it had uh -huh. all the feng shui elements wow. in it. So very powerful. 
and she did it just uh -huh. by understand when, when you light that fire on that girl she takes it and she flies all right now I have, I have a so imagine what's going to happen to that lampshade <laughs> Well, I want, I'm, I'm excited. I want to see it. Do you have it close by? We're going to want to see it, Christine, when you finish doing whatever yeah. you do. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. But I also, um, a few years ago, I was attracted to a piece, um, a crystal. And I just picked it up at um, Shambhala. And I picked it up and I keep looking at it. And my son says, mommy, you should really have it with you all the time. So I stuck it in my bag, but I no longer use the bag. So now, Donna... I am going yes. to make, and I love, I love necklaces. I have, I have my cross here, but I would love to make something yeah. with that. So I'll do that. Fantastic. There you go. Now, Lynn had a question, something about in the chat. So I'm going to just read it. Please write what you use okay. from the beach. And Lynn, you know, feel free to unmute and ask any questions you want. Okay. This is very, very uh -huh. com comfortable. You know what? It was when you said originally about the glass that you uh -huh. picked from the, from the ocean, that uh, blue. I'm going to meet you, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. No, that's okay. It was the sea glass and I didn't understand. Uh -huh. So I said, I thought sometimes once in a while, just items that you use, if you can just write them in the chat so we know exactly what you're using. Okay. But I don't want you to use what I'm using. I want you to use what you have. Sounds good. I have a and question. That's why, and that's why I went with the basic sea glass because I know everybody can find these. Okay. That's, that okay, was good. Go that's good. No, no, that's good. It was just what you had there to use. Mm -hmm. I have something that I'm going to, you have inspired me and I can share this with you. And it may inspire some other people my aunt just passed away oh, and we've goodness. gone through yeah she was like a mother to all of us in we've got many cousins and my sister is now up in Canada going through everything so I am going to immediately after this call my sister on um, Skype and tell her all the jewelry that she has to keep it aside because we want each and everybody to have a memory of her, oh. which we do. We all have me many memories, but I think I'm going to want to make something with her jewelry, her costume ju jewelry, and do something like this. So well, you've inspired you me. Go. Thank you very much. Now, then you know by doing like that, we are talking chi, we're talking energy, and you will be you'll be honoring them the chi of your aunt. You'll also be keeping the chi with you because. You, that item, if it's been with her and close to her and worn by her, is going to have absorbed some of her energy. And you will be actually okay. having some of that energy with you when, you when you have that piece in your hand or on your body or on your neck. So, yeah, that's a very special way of mem uh, memorializing, memorializing someone and yeah. honoring them and yes. loving them. All right. Yeah, well, thank you. So, I knew, so now I was here for a reason. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. And I want to show you all something as well. Okay. Now, this is a question, and I want you all to think about it. This pendant, if this is a small version, what is this? An earring. There you go. There you go. So you just learn to take, Lynn, you just... You, the costume jewelry, especially if your aunt was into wearing like semi-precious gems and stuff, you have earrings. A small version of this is an earring. There's oh, a pendant. Yes. There's an earring. Nice. So okay, there, thank you. you. I need it's, that. It's, yes. It's done, Donna. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to come back to my beautiful wearable art. There's a pendant. <laughs> There's a, excuse me, there's a matching earring. It's a small version of the pendant. There you go. I am, and I'm so happy. I am so happy with them. People, whenever, guys, whenever I go to a craft fair in Tobago and Donna is there, I want to buy more of her stuff, but I have enough of her stuff. So I have to actually stop 
and think, who can I give this to? Because I have enough of her stuff, but it's so beautiful. I, I, I just keep wanting to wear it. Go ahead. You can give it to me, Wendy. <laughs> you have some too, Terry, if I recall. <laughs> I think everybody in Tobago who likes art and beauty get, has some of Donna's jewelry. And now yeah, she's wearing the, the talents. The yeah. Yes. So please, that lampshade. I'm so curious to see that lampshade because I'm seeing lots of beads. Am I correct? There you go. There you go. Lots of beads. There's so much you can do with that if you have to, if you want to get rid of it, right? But if you don't, yes, you can easily take wire and repair it. Christine, do you want to show her the lampshade? Yeah. I think she's curious about it. Can you do that from where you are? It's um so it's a standing lamp. Okay. And when I moved house, I refused to throw it away. So let me show you. Uh, let me show you. Hold. On. Wow. <laughs> That's Lynn, what part of Canada are you going to? I live oh. north of Toronto. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Oh, are you Very, familiar with are you familiar with Toronto? I live in Sudbury. I'm Canadian. Oh my goodness. Oh, where, where are you then? I, I'm at Tobago. <laughs> but, but I'm, <laughs> I'm in Florida I'm right Canadian. now. <laughs> I'm in Florida. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> yes. But I live in Sudbury. You must know if you live there, you yeah, must know. Yes, yes, it's the yeah, nickel capital of the world. Yes. So I will now. Yes, I will now search for different stones around Sudbury. Yes. And, and you know what? What I love about these things is that you would get different gem jaspers over there and you would get different jaspers here. So, well, Florida, I'm sure it's the same thing. If you go to some different beaches, you would get different crystals. And, so and make sure and utilize that. And Donna, when you say beaches, you mean not just ocean beaches, but river beaches or any or, or lake beaches. Yes, yes. any any beaches, fresh exactly. water, salt water. Okay. Exactly. Any any stone that comes from the earth, powerful. Donna, powerful. where? Did, I'm sorry. Where did you say you live in in Canada? Um, my family are in Woodbridge. I migrated back to Tobago a few oh. years ago. Because my daughter oh, is in Barry. Canadian now. Okay, my daughter is in Barry also. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so we are in Woodbridge, so I'm not too far from you. No, not at all. Maybe we can connect yeah. sometime. You can, yeah. Yeah. In the summer. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have a lamp, guys. We have well, a lamp. Christina's so got. This this is the standing lamp. Of course, uh -huh. this this is the the cord. It's really not uh -huh. working anymore. I would love it to work, but it hasn't been working for more than a year. And I just refused to get rid of it. So I decided that instead of having it like this, which is how it should be on the on the top, I'm going to turn uh -huh. it upside it down. Right. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to pad the inside. Okay. And I'm going to pad it so it's it's fairly level so all the way up because I have five rescue cats so I'm always okay. looking to give them a new space to pooch <laughs> and then I've got all of this to decorate so what I probably do is put a band of ribbon and then on the ribbon I can just hook the beads and and anything else and then and the other thing I thought about is that, well, no, I don't do that anymore. I mean, like, I don't have a whole heap of costume jewelry anymore. However, um, this would actually, if the cats weren't using it, I could actually put the ribbon and hang earrings all, make little hooks, and then hang earrings and necklaces from it. So you can do a whole heap with this if you did one band and then two bands. Yeah. You know what I'm seeing with that? To see, I'm actually seeing um, burlap or you know that craft twine. Do I have yes. any? Yes, I have. Um, yes. I I have the I have the the um the rope that you you wrap um, right. things for cats it's, to scratch exactly. on. Exactly. I have two big rolls yes. of them that I could put on this too. Yeah. There you go. 
But you know what, though? Don't wrap the whole thing because it's a beautiful lamp. I'm thinking if you get, um, make like notes, like swirls. Yes. So, yeah, do like swirls. And that's hot glue gun. Yes, and I have a hot glue gun, yes. There you go. And it's the canvas as far as I'm concerned. You can even put some paint on it if you wanted to get rid of the white. But it's a beautiful piece. And yep. if you wanted to use it as a lamp, you can just punch, you could just punch, get some gold um, or silver uh, paint and punch the sand. So give it, just, just re-bap the whole thing. What I also did was I took um, a roll from Christmas, Christmas um, gift paper and yeah. so I put it on the base and I'm going mm -hmm. to wrap the base with the rope so that the cats have the something cat. to stretch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is really all about them. Huh? <laughs> but maybe oh, okay. I can get I can maybe see. I can get some use out of it too. <laughs> I can see. But yeah, that's a great idea for the cats actually. Yeah. It's a great idea for the cats, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna do one more. I was just hoping you guys would have joined me. <laughs> We love Terry, watching you, where Donna. Are you? We love watching you, Donna. No, but I want you guys to do it. I know. Okay, I, I would so. love to, but I didn't know where to get the stuff here. So now that I do, and I have lots of found objects, lots of um, <laughs> shells and stones and stuff. So yeah, I'll get yeah. the stuff. Okay. So another thing. Okay. So. I'm going to use, if you really want to get into jewelry making, just get some basic jewelry tools, right? So just now I used this, which was just a round object. But let's say we wanted to use a bigger bale. Remember this part is called a bale. This is like a little too big. Let's do this one. So you, you make your circle and you tie it. Tie it by twisting. And then you don't want anything poking you, so you would squeeze it in. And this is all practice, eh? You can do this while watching television. So you take it off of whatever it is. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you put your object close to it and you start wrapping. It's always recommended that you go up first to secure it. Right. And then you come around here, that's secured, and then you just wrap, wrap, wrap. Pulling tightly, of course, because the whole idea is to secure. Bring it back up and you tie it off right here. How easy is that? Donna, it's beautiful. It's $150. <laughs> if you want, no, I'm serious. $150. And this is this is like the Bacardi um, discarded bottle that was in the ocean for decades. And you put your little thing on here. Listen, I am so I am so like in the stream loose strand thing. I am. I, I like that. that as well. I really like that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the the tree loose strand. So it's just a matter of flatting this end, flatting this end, and leave the middle loose. Yes, and you could put um you could put beads at two points on the yeah. on the cord make a knot put a bead make another knot and then you've got the bead secured yes or a few beads actually yeah have you done this there before? you go it sounds like huh? it sounds like you've done this before christine <laughs> no christine who's not creative speaking what happened <laughs> thank you thank you very much terry that's what she said i was just about to say that this is a person who said that she wasn't creative mm. we Don't all have it in our ladies speaking we can do this, we can do this. You know, you're looking for something to secure, you know, to just get away from everyday hustle, hustle and bustle. 
Okay. So, Donna, do you, give, uh, do you give workshops? This is my first workshop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thinking, thinking, Terry, that's what she's doing now. <laughs> yeah, this is my first workshop. Excellent. It, it, it did cross my mind, but I, you know, I want to give, I want people to untap what they have. And you yes. can do this. Look. I agree. I love that. You open up a whole new world for Lynn. Christine, Christine is going to, next thing you know, Christine is marketing her new lamp line. And <laughs> no. <laughs> no, seriously. I like, I know, like yeah. pointing. I like pointing people in the right direction. So, you know, uh, I told another friend the other day, my friend who's a functional medicine practitioner, I said, while I am big in holistic well-being, um, I do not want to learn that so if i have a friend who does it i prefer to say oh you know i have this friend you should reach out to her <laughs> so pass it along just pass it along come on we can do this we can do this hey, i think i can i'm gonna make something i'm gonna make something donna and i'm gonna i'm gonna post it thank you christine i love this kid Yes, we would all love, we have to, I want, actually, I'm going to challenge everybody to, to do a piece, seriously. Reach out to me if you're having a problem, but, you know, um, you can get stainless steel wire or copper wire, strip the appliance cord and, you know, use So the, the same cord, the same cord I can use? Yes. If you're discarding the lamp, why not? That lamp is, has a lot of usage. <laughs> It has a lot of usage. I'm, like I'm going to strip this and I'm going to make something because I do have a, a crystal in my handbag that's gorgeous. And I've just yes. been trying to figure out how can I wear it because I won't hold it in my hand, but I can wear it. So now I know. Mm -hmm. okay, so but there are times, I mean, don't be bashful. You know, there are times when you have the crystals and you just want to, this is a different. You just want to hold it for energy, you know. Close your eyes and just feel the energy. So Donna, and you we can do this at any point in time. We're gonna chat. We're gonna say everybody, Sorry. everybody who came to join us today is promising to make yes. something and share with the group on the tribe. Then you're muted. You're muted. And we'll wear it next time. Well, not even wear it next time. Show sure that, and then wear it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> take a picture of you wearing it <laughs> so, so Don, Don, would you like to share anything more with the tribe um with the tribe with the, those of us here today or the people who watch the replay do you want to tell them more about um show them your jewelry that your, your, your yes line, please show them yes how to, how to reach you or are you anything? sure are you sure you can handle what you might see in my jewelry <laughs> i think we'll we'll, we'll hold on to our hearts no, no, we'll hold up. We'll hold up. <laughs> and and also how to reach you, can... Anna, how to reach you because not everybody here is in Tobago, so there might be that you want to okay. share your, your contact information. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put All right. you, so... you are the speaker. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So I can't be reached. The easiest way to reach me is on WhatsApp. And I also have catalogs, my jewelry catalog on WhatsApp, which is eight six eight four six zero. 8875. So that's 868 460 8875. Right? Okay, so you're ready? Yes. Uh, let me see. Can I do a reverse camera on this? Yes. Beautiful. Okay, so this is my new collection. It is called Sense of Nature. They all have names. So up here, I'm just going to go slowly. I can speed this thing down. Yeah. These are all the silver tones. And then we have the gold tone down here. These are anklets made with sea glass again. 
Let me show you. There's one. Okay. I'm going to switch again. Got to see that. Oh. Were you all seeing just now? Yes. Or were you all seeing? Okay. So this one is hand painted. This one's a hand painted and it's wrapped in silver. So we'll go ahead and make that. And this one is the blue and white. And this is like an anti copper material. So we're going back again. So there's, there's a pendant, right? And then we have studs, stud earring. And this is the couple couple line. Sorry. Sorry, this piece is very small. So this one is called dancing bamboo. I remember that. Yeah. So these are some earrings at the now, Donna, the very colorful stones, you hand paint them? Yes, every one of them. So this is a fossil. This is a fossil. This is sea glass. And this is an ocean jasper. And what kind of paint do you use when you paint them? No, that was, I really can't tell you that. <laughs> I can't tell you that one. I, I really can't tell you that one as yet. Only no, because uh, I'm the only one that's doing it so far. Yes. Um, yeah. No problem. I, really, I don't want to. Yes. I, I don't want to reveal it as of yet. Let me. Let me just enjoy. Un understand. Understand. Don't you worry. Okay. Let people reach out yeah. to you if they want those. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Okay. So but that again. I mean, these are just, you can use whatever you want. Driftwood, seeds, whatever. Resin, anything. So does anybody have any more, any questions for Donna other than that? Or shall we give her a big hug and thanks and let her go back to making beautiful jewelry? No question. I like that. That means that's telling me it was a good workshop. <laughs> yes. So Donna, on behalf of the tribe, on behalf of the Find Your Fire tribe, all those who watched and all those who will watch, I want to thank you so yes, much for what you've shared with us today. The secrets of your trade, at least some of them, some of them are going to be kept yeah. in your heart. And I really hope that, um, that people reach out to you when they see this, work, this workshop, reach out to you to get to know more and, 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 and give you more okay so many blessings lynn and christine thank you so much for being here terry had to run off and we will see you again very soon many thank blessings you. Thank, thank you thank you thank you thank you very much for having me and i'm looking forward to seeing the pieces that you created yes your wearable yes. art pieces we definitely have um christine do we have a commitment on that i'll make something Lynn is going to make something and Christine's going to definitely yes. make something. All right. Okay. Yes. Bye bye, everyone.